In this video, I'm going to be talking about the quiz assignment feature of Google Classroom and try to explain why you shouldn't use it. Now, if you go into Google Classroom and click on the Create button, you'll see an option that says Quiz Assignment. It's right below uh, your regular assignment. Now, the truth is that assignment and quiz assignment are exactly the same. The only difference that happens when you click on quiz assignment is that Google will automatically create a new Google form and attach it to the assignment. That's it. You don't get any extra features, any options. Everything else is exactly the same as creating a regular assignment. Now, you can use this if you want, but let me try to explain why I don't use it. So let's go ahead and open up this blank quiz. It's just a regular Google form, nothing special. Uh, let's give it a name so that we can find it. Now, when you create something in Google Classroom, Google will automatically place that file into the Classroom folder of your Drive account. So you have a folder called Classroom, see it right there, and then you have a subfolder for each class that you teach. Right now I'm in my fifth grade class, so if I click on fifth grade, these are all the folders for the different assignments that have already been posted in that class. And if we go right down there, there is a quiz that we just created. Now, the reason that I don't use the quiz assignment feature of Google Classroom is because I don't want my quizzes saved in that folder. I prefer to organize my assessments among my teacher files. So I have a folder for all of my classes, a subfolder for every unit, every lesson, and I put all of my things in there and then I just assign it to Google Classroom uh, when I'm ready. So what I do, instead of using the quiz assignment feature, I just simply create a new assignment, click the drive link, search for whatever quiz that I have. See if I can find one. So here's a quiz and attach it. And once I've done that, I have exactly the same options that I would if I clicked on quiz assignment. So I like to just use a regular assignment because it gives me more, more control over where my quizzes are stored, helps me find them, reuse them year after year. That's a personal preference. There's absolutely nothing wrong with using the quiz assignment feature uh, as long as you understand how it's working and where those files are going. Now that we've got that covered and out of the way, let's talk about some of the things that we do see here on the screen. There are some exciting new additions uh, that Google has added. So this entire block here appears anytime you attach a form to an assignment. Um, and if you are using Chromebooks, you have the ability to take advantage of locked quiz mode. This allows you to use Google Forms as a secure testing environment. So when that feature is on, um, so again, the things you need to know, you have to be using Google Forms. You need to be using Chromebooks. This feature only works on managed Chromebooks, so Chromebooks owned by your school district. And then as long as you flip that switch on, when students start their quiz, it locks down the browser so they cannot access any other materials, look anything up, browse the web during the duration of that quiz. It's an amazing feature. Now, contrary to a lot of belief and, and statements, this feature does not require the use of Google Classroom. You could do this without Google Classroom. You just send the link to the form to your students that would work as well. So Classroom is not required, but certainly is very convenient to get the quiz uh, to your students. That's it. The other thing that uh, you can take advantage of, and this has been here for a while, is the option for grade importing. So this allows you, uh, once your students have taken the quiz, if you have auto scoring turned on, or even if you're manually scoring some of the questions, like a free response question, um, when you press uh, release scores inside of Google Forms, those scores will be sent to the students and will also be published to Google Classroom, just like a normal assignment uh, would. It'll actually take over the point value up here and replace it with however many points your quiz is worth. It's a nice option. Now, if you're gonna do that, uh, if you have uh, a, a test assignment category for your grades, you'd want to go ahead and make sure that's selected so those points go into the, the correct category. You can always change it in uh, the future if, uh, if you forget. So that's a little look at the quiz assignment feature. I totally support and love using um, Google Forms for quizzes. I love um, using Google Classroom to get those quizzes in the hands of my students. I just personally don't use that quiz assignment feature.